everyone. Um, today we are going to take a look at an avocado and see if we can connect it to a concept that we are currently studying in science. So if we are talking about the layers of the earth, and this avocado can represent the earth. When I cut it in half, okay, we take a look at the inside. And here you'll see that the outside of the avocado can be likened to the crust of the earth. It's harder surface allows us to walk on it, plant in it, and it's more of a solid. When you get to the next layer, you reach the mantle. The mantle is a softer, molten, very hot, um, uh, almost lava type of um, layer. It's got the tectonic plates on the top, which we can consider the darker green a layer to be like. And then we've got the yellow part, which would be the more molten, uh, viscous, syrupy part that the plates float on. And then we get to the center, and the center is considered the core. In the Earth's core, there were two parts. There's an outer core and an inner core. The way inner core is solid. As you can see in the avocado, the core here, the pit, the entire thing is solid. But in the Earth's core, we would have the outer core being molten uh, iron and nickel and some other elements, whereas the very, very deep inner part would be solid. And that is our analogy. The core is very special in the Earth, and it is because of the core that we have a magnetic field and that we also generate volcanic eruptions and have convection currents. Stay tuned for more coming soon. See ya.